edition of ABC 10 News starts now. Tonight we welcome the newest member of our Team 10 investigative team, Jim Avila, who has covered news from the White House to war zones for ABC News and is now at ABC 10 here with a story that may surprise you. That legal marijuana proponents have been telling us is safe may actually carry real threats to our children, Jim. That's right, Wale. Thank you, first of all. I'm a native Californian born and raised here. And as you mentioned, I've covered news in every state in the country and every continent except Antarctica. Now I've come home hoping to make an impact here in Southern California. My first story for Team 10 is about the hidden dangers of marijuana, especially for our kids from the very young to adolescence. Californians love their legal marijuana. The highest number of cannabis users in the country live in this state. Nearly 7 million people, according to Statista, an internet data company. But medical experts... My name is Dr. Ronit Lev. I'm an emergency and addiction physician. Dr. Natalie Lau. I am a child abuse pediatri uh, pediatrician. And parents with seriously impacted children. Hi, my name is Amina Sarir, and my daughter... Uh, accidentally ingested some cereal that were edibles that nearly killed her. All have one answer when asked point blank, does legal marijuana mean safe marijuana? This it seems to be a surprise to people, right? Marijuana is a very dangerous drug for children. So all those sayings about how marijuana is not addictive, that's wrong. That's absolutely wrong. Marijuana is addictive. If you look at youth in treatment centers, the number one drug that they're in addiction treatment for is cannabis. Amina Sarir is mother of two beautiful daughters, but she says she nearly lost one to a marijuana lace cereal that looks just like the harmless store shelf brand, except Apple Jacks is spelled with a Z. And according to the lab test obtained by Team 10, it contains THC the active ingredient in marijuana. They were very attractive. They are kids' colors. Amina is a swim teacher and routinely takes snacks to practice. And while she doesn't use marijuana in any form, someone, she still doesn't know who, added the Apple Jacks package to the snack basket. It took only a few minutes for her daughter to complain of drowsiness and stomach pain. Soon, Amina was on the phone to the poison center who sent mom and daughter directly to the hospital, where little Maya was admitted, and according to the pathology report, she slipped into a 30-hour coma. These are pictures of her in the ICU. That must have been terrible for you. That was the biggest fear of our lives. I thought I have lost her. Good job. Open your eyes, Mama. Amina says the effect of the THC, the active ingredient in the marijuana that the lab found in the cereal, has been long-lasting. It was hallucination. My daughter had her eyes wide open and she could see bugs and snakes and spiders and had terrifying moments throughout the day where she didn't know if she was in the reality or in her dreams. The makers of the THC edible Apple Jacks, nor the retail association representing legal marijuana distributors, responded to ABC 10 News inquiries. The two nationally renowned San Diego doctors studying the issue say since legalized marijuana came on the market, cannabis poisoning has skyrocketed. 200 hospital cases in 2023 alone. Every single shift, multiple times a shift, I see marijuana-associated problems. And the reason for that is potency. That, well, you know, that 70s marijuana doesn't even exist anymore. And, and quantity, the number of people uh, exposed. So legal doesn't mean safe? Legal does not mean safe. In October, four children at Escondido's North Broadway Elementary School were sent to the hospital after eating snacks believed to be laced with marijuana. The district telling parents in an email home, quote, edible cannabis products are easily mistaken for regular candy or food. Cannabis food products such as gummy bears, lollipops, or brownies are designed and packaged to look like popular brands of regular candy or baked goods. And in Los Angeles, paramedics were called to transport eight children to the hospital after suspected gummies were consumed on campus last spring. So it appears it just probably is medical marijuana, but we cannot say that for certain until the police does a complete investigation. We were seeing a handful of kids a year three to five children in an entire year having cannabis or marijuana poisoning. Now we're seeing hundreds of children a year 
uh, test positive for marijuana, come into the hospital very sick. Dr. Laub, a renowned expert on marijuana and children whose work has been published in medical journals, says it can take as little as five milligrams to hospitalize a toddler. In fact, she says half of the kids coming to her hospital, Rady's in San Diego, after ingesting marijuana are admitted and 10% are sent to the ICU. We start to see them having trouble breathing. Uh, we start to see them having trouble with their electrolytes, so they start to vomit so much. So cannabis is very, very, very dangerous for children. Cannabis makes children very sick. Cannabis can cause children to die, even at small doses. One little five-year-old girl got into her mummy mother's gummy bears. Her eyes were rolling in her head, and she was admitted to the ICU waiting a day or two to detox before she could home. And her mom didn't intend that. She was mortified, appropriately embarrassed. Doctors witnessing the effects of marijuana poisoning in children are now attempting to change the narrative that marijuana is safe in an effort to fight the marketing that leaves the impression the drug is just candy with a kick. The drug is not being kept locked away. The drug is not in a childproof container. The drug is left in a kitchen junk drawer. It's left in a bedside table. It's left on a windowsill. It's left where children can get it. We should ask ourselves that question. Is this really meant for uh, adults that are over the age of 18 or 21, or is it targeted targeting younger children? Um, so that's when it becomes really scary. Oh, yeah. Hard lessons, changing what the medical world now thinks about the safety of marijuana. It's only fair to point out that these doctors and parents are not against the legal use of marijuana by adults, even recreationally. Their concern is with underage use, on accident or by design. In our next report on next Monday night, we will look critically at the damage done to teenagers who use this high-potency version of cannabis, with one parent describing what it's done to their son as zombie-esque. Well, eh? Well, Jim, we look forward to that next report next Monday. We're off to an amazing start, and we are glad to have you, sir. Thank you. It's good to be here. All right.